Hi guys, welcome to Pixie Nettery and I'm Pixie, your slowpoke doll artist. And I'm totally fine with that, so I hope you will be too. So... I prepared a new doll video for you. And this time I will create another VTuber character. And her name is Sakabai. As you can see, today we're gonna make something schmexy, if you know what I mean. Very hot girl with shapes and cool looking design. Not gonna lie, it was challenging one, because this time I tried a new doll base. And it is third gen Draculaura. She has some curves and I just have not gotten used to that yet. There were some tries and errors. But I got there eventually and the outcome is stunning. So sit tight and we are starting. As usual I prepared patterns in advance and further in video I'm gonna put them together. Today's materials are cotton and satin. Also a little bit of PU leather. Wings are made out of PU with sticky base. How to make such wings you can watch in my Verosica or Karen video. I like that this time I managed to avoid stitching. Also prepare, but this video will be not that detailed. I had a lot of going on here, so let's just enjoy what we got. So I'm starting with a dress. I attached the lining of the skirt to the satin base and made a back opening on it. With a thin strip of glue I secured the edges. We don't want a fringe here. Next I assembled the top with the waist part of the dress. Simply sew them up together. And here we got the necessary base for further work. Stitch the bottom to the top. With this marker I made drawings on the skirt. I decided to give it a try and see how it will work on the scrap piece of fabric. Luckily it worked just perfectly fine. In 3 or 4 layers it got required opacity. I decorated the middle section of the dress with metallic pendant and you see this thing already popping. Now I'm sewing the back piece of the skirt to the rest of the dress. And a few thin chains to the corset. Ok, let's go next. Recently I got a bunch of metallic accessories bases, so I will use one of them to make a fancy bra. It will be attached to the dress. With a few stitches it is going to its place. Ah yes, the bust of the doll was modded to resemble the character's charisma. Done here. Some more painting with acrylic to the skirt. Now I need to make the whole piece stay in place. So I'm sewing on the bunch of rings for the ties. The dress is ready, it's time for accessories. Like a pair of gloves. I make a pair of satin sleeves. Nothing too special, just be sure it is the right size. And paint the doll's hands. Next is pair of mesh stockings. Tricky fabric to work with. A bit on a slippery side, but I have a solution for it. But first, let's just sew them. Ok, now I will make a little garter belt to hold those in place. Few thin ribbons, pair of metallic rings and sew this bad boy to the edges of the stockings. Put it on the doll and voila! Small golden drops will cover the stitching. Out of camera I made satin panties to match the dress. Put a velcro clip on the back. And 
and done. Simple. The color I also made off camera. And it wasn't that simple, so that's why off camera. Gotta keep my focus from time to time on sewing only. Edges I decorate with golden trim. And put rings for ties. With 3D fabric paint I made some kind of spiky texture. Also the doll has a pair of triangle golden earrings, so I deliver. As usual, hair part is something I'm too hesitant to show, so I will briefly put it in a few clips. Sakabai's hairstyle is high ponytail, so I tried to replicate it on the doll. It went not just the original design, but I truly tried to do my best with that. And I had the perfect accessory for it. A major part of the doll's hairstyle is her horns. I sculpted them out of epoxy sculpt. Let it cure for a day and paint. Later I will poke them into the head of the doll. And here is the doll's body. Let's make a quick color correction to her boobas. Sakabai has her kitty pet nearby, so I made her too. It is a figurine of a cat that I repainted, to make it similar to the one character is having. Sometimes you don't have to make something from the zero. Solutions can be easier. I covered the kitty cat with a few layers of paint, sealed it with matte varnish and made a repainting job on her little cute face. It took some time, trials and errors, but in the end she turned out quite a character, you know. Loved working on her. So while I'm painting her, there is nothing much to tell, cause you already could guess it. I'm more of working person, not talking too much. Especially now, I still have a queue of custom orders that I need to make, so my videos will be the victim of time management for a couple of months. Not gonna lie, I'm tired and still dealing with grief for my father, but slowly and surely I'll be back for my projects later this year. For now, saints bless my customers for the trust they gave me with their doll projects. Also, Sakabai, thank you for this opportunity to make your doll on this Ula. It was quite a ride. So in general, I'm doing bearably. Too much stuff that is still out of my control in real life, but hopefully by the end of this year I will have some clarity. When the war ends, I'm sure it is gonna be easier, I hope so. It is a very selfish thing to want, but I just know that so many people like me here want the same. I can't and don't want fully translate my mental state. I just want to tell you that I wish our people a win and suffer no more. We well deserved it for everything this war put us through. And oh wow, but how inappropriate to finish my speech on this note and jump back to my doll video. But it is how it is, right? It is what I'm doing here right now, painting a doll for you to watch, so let's do it then. I'm telling you, with this one I had a blast. I like those expressions on dolls like I will step on you, obey or I will make you, you know? Those ah mommy please eyes, you know you know ye? Yeah? So I got those here. And yeah, we are making such dolls here too, okay? So please, I don't need any judgment here, alright? I like those faces with a little smirk and tint of sexiness. Very easy going face ups for me. And I love when I got the right mood for a specific character. Sakabai is one of those. Challenging but rewarding. So if you want to get your reward and see the final result, stay with me till the end of the video. Leave a comment under it. About do you like her? Do you not? What 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 do you think about her? Leave a like or whatever to appreciate this dolminatrix I showed you and subscribe for more eye candies in the future. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. See you later in my next videos. Have a tempting night. Bye.
And wow, but how inappropriate to finish my speech on this note and jump back, back, jump back, jump back, jar, jar, jump back. I like those faces with a little smirk and tit, uh, tit, and tit. <laughs> yes, with tit too. I like those dolls with tit. <laughs> Always. 